Well, 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 what do we have here? What do we have here? You see it. Red breast, cash strength, 12 year old, triple the steals in the building, ready for review. 55.8% alcohol. This is Irish whiskey on deck. And this one right here is a gem, but we gonna get to that in just a little bit. Here's the box coming out of Ireland. And this one right here is one of the, I would say, strongest competitors in the Irish whiskey game. Red Breast 12. Let's go. What's going on, y'all? We back at it again. Another hot review for you. Drams on deck. Today, today, Ireland is in the building. Today, we have right here, Red Breast 12 Cash Strength Irish Single Pot Whiskey. Yes, sir. This bad boy right here is Cash Strength. And you know, if you know me, I love my Cash Strength whiskeys. Um, I think you get a little bit more bang for your buck. Here, here's the box for it. Has a little tutorial, has a little uh, description on the front and the back. Um, but yeah. This one right here is a very nice whiskey. It's about at just under 56% ABV. And, I, you know, I really, really, you know, this is one of the first Irish whiskeys that I've really got into. You know, a lot of people are familiar with Jameson. It's a, what I would call an entry level uh, Irish whiskey. This one, to me, Red Breast is a higher caliber than Jameson. But they're all under the Middleton. Middleton is the company or the big parent company under Middleton, you have the Red Breast and you also have Jameson. But um, which, you like pref uh, which one you like best is a matter of preference, but to me, Red Breast, Middleton, uh, Teeling, those are three, just name a few, those are three Irish whiskeys that, in my opinion, that does and can compete with top level scotches. I, you know, I think that scotches probably among the best whiskeys there is between Japanese, American, Canadian, you know, there's, you know, whiskeys from all over the world. I think Scotch is among the best that there is, period. And like I said, even better than Ireland. But to me, this is one of the few brands that does compete with just, you know, normal Scotches. So Red Breast 12 Cash Strength in the building. Yes, sir. 55.8%. This one is run you... It, it ranges, but this is very pretty fairly inexpensive. You can get this for roughly around 60 to 70 bucks. Um, I got this particular one at a Total Wines for in that price range. I've had this bottle about three months now. Um, I'm probably halfway full, halfway empty. And uh, so I do a review. Also, I have the Red Breast 27. Whew, I, don't, I don't think you heard me. If you ever have Red Breast, I'm gonna say it one more time. I say I got the Red Breast 27 coming soon just so you know bam but back to this 12 cash strength is in the building ireland so you know what honestly like i said man i i you know there was a few irish whiskeys that i really was in you know into and then i got into this uh, another one is green and yellow spot that's another one so you know this one right here i read reviews prior to getting it great reviews and uh, I decided to get it. It was, you know, and with the price was right. And this, I, I love cash strength. And uh, so this one is American oak, ex bourbon oak, and it is also ex oloroso sherry. So you get the bourbon oloroso American oak uh, mix in here at cash strength, which is, sounds delicious to me. Um, you know, I definitely, definitely was was uh, looking forward to get this. And this is pasta. So normally, if you are a scotch drinker. You are familiar with single malt, right? So if you see a Macau, they may say the uh, single malt or whatever. So the pot still is very similar to single malt. It's like it's a mix of unmalted and malted barley. So when you when it says you know we'll do a close up later on, but when it says the uh, uh, single pot still, single pot still is, means the same distillery. So it's pretty much one and the same with the Scotch version of the single malt. That's what that means. Malted on malted barley, like I said, man. Uh, this is in the building. Very, uh, it's, I wouldn't say every, everyone has the cash strength. The cash strength is less available than the normal 12. So Red Breast has a 12 year 
and they have a 12 year cash rate, which is what I have. So the 12 year is more accessible, slightly more than you will see the cash rate. Um, but that, but this is, 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 is still accessible. Like I said, not as easy as a 12, but you can get it. This will be a little bit more than the normal cash, uh, the normal 12 year per se. Um, so Red Breast does a 12, a 12 cash strength. They do a 15, a 21. Um, I have a 27, which is stay tuned for. They also have a, I believe it was called a Dreamcast, or it's, it's, which was a rare release. It's like a 32 year one, which is, like I said, that's you know hard to find when you get into detail of that. But by and large, 12 cash strength. Even of people who love uh, red breast, even with when you put it with the the 15 and the, they also have a, 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 a sherry cast one. And so when you when you mix it, the 12 cash strength with any of the expression, most people who specifically like red breast will tell you that the cash strength is just damn near as good as the 15 or the other expressions. So this is definitely a solid dram. That being said, let's dive right into this nose first and see what we got. Swipe right off of that brow. Ooh, wipe it right off right there so you can get you a good look at this color. Mm -hmm. A light amber, almost like an apple juice kind of color. It's sweating a little bit, so it does uh, cloud it. But a nice light amber color on it. <sighs> I'll be honest with you. I'm not really picking up much uh, notes on the nose. I'm not going to fake it. I pick up alcohol. That's what I pick up on the nose. Um, I'm not picking up much distinction, whether it be, you know, apricot fruit or anything like that nature that some people describe. Right now, I pick up just the alcohol smell. It's not un, it's not an um, unfavorable smell. It's just I, I don't pick up much distinction as of right now. Maybe another day I may I may smell something different. But today, I just smell some alcohol, some sweet alcohol, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, not bad, though. So, Let's try this palette. Here we go. Shimmy. Ah. Ooh. The cast strength showing his showing his strength right now. Okay, but I ain't scared though. I ain't scared. It's good though. I would like to let the first sip kind of coat the palate go, and then opens up my palate. And then the second sip kind of seeps into the pores and I can really taste the notes more. That said, let's drive a second sip. Even though I don't see the legs hanging on to it, the glass for very long, I can feel a nice oily viscosity to it. It's still, it coats the palate very well. Like I still, even though I just downed that sip maybe about 20 seconds ago, I can still feel like some, some sweetness, some vanilla honey kind of sticking to the inner walls of my palate, which is very enjoyable. Very nice. You Like I said, you pick up that sweet oak, Honey, vanilla, pick up that Oloroso sherry on it. I get like a nice little fruity spice to it too, like a cinnamon or something like that. Cinnamon spice is kind of monotone. The main thing that I pick up on it is that, that sweet oak and that, that sherry. Those are the two things that really play out the most on this. And it's that cash strength, so it has a nice has a nice ABV, has a nice oomph to it. When I say oomph, means that you can feel it. Even like, for example, now I've, that I'm still talking, I've downed that taste over a minute ago, and yet I still taste it on my palate. And so for me, the higher, sometimes, sometimes, always, the higher ABV, 
the longer the finish is and it lingers more. So if you have something that's, that is a, a pleasurable flavor profile, which I find this to be, it is, it is better to have something like this cash string that lingers more than maybe a, just a standard 40% that maybe after 30 seconds it's kind of gone or dissipates, if that makes sense. So almost, I think of this almost in the same respects if you buy a, a perfume or a cologne. If you buy your normal, which I'm not knocking, a Canartica or a, a bottle, the, the, the entry level Polo cologne, something something of that nature, that's an entry level, anything that you can find at a Walmart or JCPenney, you know, it may have a nice fragrance to it, but for me, at least on my nose, after two hours, other than maybe on your clothes, you don't smell it anymore. Versus you get something that's a little bit of higher uh, alcohol or oil consistency. Um, I your, your niche high-end fragrances like your Tom Four, your Bond Number no. Nine, things of that nature. If you're into fragrances, just top in with it has a higher uh, oil consistency that lasts all night long. You may spray it and then wake up the next day still smell. So same way with this. From in, in, in the opposite reflects that, like, hey, you know, the higher ABV, it lasts longer. So for me, nice, uh, nice uh, longevity on it. I'm going to take one more sip. But before I do that, just to see, for the review purposes, I'm going to put just a little bit of water in there. Just to see if that uh, opens it up just a little bit. So... Um, Castrate, uh, that's the one thing I do like about Castrate, the fact that you can play with the ABV. So everybody's taste profile is not the same. Some people like their, uh, uh, their I'm sorry, their drams at 40%, meaning that if it's at 40%, if you're an avid drinker, you don't necessarily need to add uh, water to it because it's pretty low. It's not hot. And you can draw right into it. But some people prefer more oomph, more power. So if you do prefer that, it comes at that that strength but the thing about cash strength you can always bring it down so for example if i like cash strength for whatever reason i bet I, maybe i had a dinner prior and it, it tasted hotter than normal i can always add water until i can bring it down to a 40 percent or whatever i like that's the thing about it. so when you have 40 percent you know um it's pretty low so uh, at least uh, that's entry level i should say entry level alcohol volume so normally it doesn't take much water if you need more than that to bring it down so the thing about this, the higher it is, you can always bring it down to whatever you prefer. So you have more leeway to play with. And a lot of times when you have water, it kind of opens up. It can, it can unlock more flavors and make it more uh, fruity, sweet, or peaty, or whatever it may be. It just depends on the, the uh, particular spirit that you're sipping. So on palate, let's see if this water changes it any bit. Water locks a little bit, though I didn't let it open up airtime, but I will say that the water tends to make it slightly, seem like it opens up the, the uh, sweetness a little bit more. So you get more of the bourbon notes. Like I said, it's American oak. So I seem to get more vanilla, more of that sweet oak, that bourbon notes seem to linger. Normally when, before the water, I picked up that uh, sweet oak and that bourbon vanilla note more on the mid palate, where most of the flavors was unlocked. But with this water, it seems as though when I first put on the palate, the, the entry all the way leading into the finish, I pick up that 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 sweet oak. So I will say that uh, it seems to lengthen that uh, that note more for me. But the finish is pretty medium. It's it, I'll say medium high. Um, with because it's cash strength, it was, it's uh, I slightly a little bit above medium, medium high, I would say. Um, like I said, even uh, a minute or so after, I, you can still feel some remnants on your palate, and it's very ple uh, pleasurable, at least if you like um, sweet oak, vanilla, honey, a little ripe stewed fruit, and uh, a little bit of spice. Oloroso, you could definitely taste a little bit of the vanilla, I'm not as I was the sherry on that, and it is a very nice dram. 12 years old. It has a very nice balance to it. It has some oomph to it. Um, is uh, is affordable. Only thing I said, the availability comes and goes. Certain spots you can find on 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 the shelf at certain stores any day. In certain stores, it may only come in every blue moon. 
So it just depends on your neck of the woods, your area, what store you go into. Uh, I will say the bigger chain ones, you tend to keep it more so than maybe the mom and pop ones. That's just from what I've seen in the local area. Um, but you can even find it online if, if, if push comes to shove. You live in some austere environment where you don't see too many liquor stores and the ones there don't have it. You can even find it online. So it's not something that you have to uh, really, really uh, hunt down for an extended period of time, if that makes sense. And it's not super expensive. As I said, the price range is 60 to $70. So by and large, Red Breast 12 Cash Strength is a very, very nice, smooth dram. I like the oomph. I like the flavors that I, I, I uh, said prior. And then, like I said, it doesn't break the bank. So I definitely enjoy this, man. And for Irish whiskey, this is far and above the bottom shelf Jameson. So if you ever had a bottom shelf Jameson and $20 one to come in the green tin, similar color bottle is this color wise. The glasses. Um, this is leaps and bounds far beyond just a normal Jameson. So if you had Jameson, if for people who do like Jameson, I'm not knocking it, but if you do like Jameson, this is another league. This is this is another echelon. There's levels to this. This is a higher level. Um, and like I said, obviously it costs more than that as well. But um, if I had to rate this bottle, 1 to 10, 10 being the best for me, Red Breast 12 Cash Train, I'm going to give this, for me, a solid, a solid 8. Solid 8 all day long. And in, in price availability, it's still pretty even. So I so when I factor in the price availability, it stays the same. I give this a solid eight, a solid eight, um, which is a, which is above average. This is a very good drink. I like this. I enjoy this, man. Um, I think that you know the flavor profile and stuff is, is good at it. I mean, like I said, ABV is high, um, has some complexity to it. I almost would give us an eight point five, almost, but. You know, I say it's not available everywhere, but taste-wise, it's, it's, it's borderline 8.5. So, uh, but like I said, solid 8 all day long. I enjoy this, man. Um, Red Breast 12, single pot, cash strength, on deck. Yes, sir. Um, if you like Irish whiskeys, give this a try. Like I said, man, there's, there's a couple, like I said, there's a handful of soda, in my opinion, that I've had that I think that are on the same level as a scotch or even a high-end bourbon so this is what this brand is one of them middleton uh the spot whether it be red green or yellow usually the green and yellow is the one you see red spots hard to find and last but not least teeling teeling is another one so those are a handful of irish whiskeys that um that are on par with uh, the other um like i said whiskey so um if you see this in the store and you like those flavor profiles um you know i would say give it a, a shot um, I, you know, I can't, on top of my head, I can't think of a necessarily the exact, the, uh, scotch that it may taste like, but I mean, the, though, when you think of American oak and sherry, that does, that's very similar to any, you know, most scotches, rather it be a Macallan or a Balvenie. So if you like those kind of things and you never had a red breast Irish whiskey, if you like a Macallan or a Balvenie, you should like this. Um, it's not exactly the same taste profile exactly, but with the cash strength, if you like cash strength, it should definitely um, compare. It's, I don't think you'll be disappointed whatsoever. And um, so if you haven't, give it a shot. If you like Jameson, this is better than that, hands down. So um, Red Breast 12 cash strength on deck to me, a solid eight all day long. I enjoy this. So um, if you haven't tried, think about it, check it out. Um, Check my uh, description box. I believe the link from my Instagram page. Um, if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. I got some uh, reviews, a couple of reviews in there, and I also have some more of my collection in there. Give you a heads up for what reviews may be on the horizon. Just a, just a little uh, heads up. But also, hit the like button, subscribe button. If you feel like I earned it, if you like this, it will give you the first bell when I drop a new product, which I like to try uh, drop a product every week. I don't like to keep y'all waiting for hot reviews. Um, till then, man, if you, if you had this, give me, hit me your, your opinion of it. Let me know. I'm very accessible. Thank y'all for your time, man. It's like, a, like I said, it's just great circulation. I give you information, you give it back to me. We want big old happy whiskey spirit family. Till then, next time, signing off. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.